In 2008, Apple introduced the MacBook Air. It was slim, it was sexy, and it was riddled with compromises, so much so that even the most fervent of fans couldn't comprehend its being much more than a secondary computer for frequent travelers. But over the years, iteration by iteration, the Air evolved into the full-fledged, ultra-portable powerhouse it is today. Last year, Apple upped the ante with a MacBook, an even slimmer model that once again had critics bemoaning compromises made by the company in favor of aesthetics. Chief among the complaints, lackluster internals and the reduction of ports to a single USB-C that serves as both the charging input and chief connector, requiring adapters to really get the job done. A surprise announcement last week brought some key upgrades to the laptop, primarily focused on the MacBook's internals. The new machines feature six-generation dual-core Intel Core M processors, offering a marked boost in processing power, along with a bump in battery life, promising up to 10 hours of use on a single charge. The performance boost might not be immediately apparent in everyday use, but in the benchmark tests we ran, this MacBook well outpaced its predecessor. And it was also able to get more than a day's use out of a single battery charge, even when running audio and video. All these welcome changes fit well when coupled with the bright and colorful 2304 by 1440 12-inch retina display and accurate force trackpad, which offers pressure-sensitive gestures. The exterior of the device remains largely unchanged, and you know what? That's a good thing. Apple laptops have long been a monument to consumer industrial design, and this one's no different. At 2.03 pounds and half an inch thick, the MacBook is Apple's thinnest and lightest thus far, and even slimmer and lighter than the 11-inch Air. It's also just a lovely piece of aluminum machinery, particularly in the dark space gray version we were set. Of course, there are a lot more color options out there for the more adventurous consumers, including gold and new for this year, rose gold, which brings a popular pink hue to the MacBook family for the first time. There's still a number of compromises on board. There's no additional ports to be found, the recessed keyboard isn't great for extended typing, and the 480p webcam, well, we'd expect more out of a machine starting at $1299, a significant bump over the 11-inch Air, which starts at $899. Users considering making the jump to Windows might want to check out the current crop of Ultra Portables, including Dell's XPS 13, which starts at an appealing $799. There's no question the MacBook is getting better with every generation, but whether or not the current feature set is enough for most users, that's still up for debate. The new internals mark an important step toward making this a more mainstream computer, and the ultra-thin and light design coupled with the beautiful retina display are as appealing as ever. It's going to be tough giving this machine back to Apple now that my 13-inch Air looks downright gigantic by comparison, but I won't miss that shallow keyboard or lackluster webcam, or the reliance on a single port. If none of these compromises are deal breakers, by all means take the plunge. For my part, I'm going to be sticking with my MacBook Air, even in the face of the rose gold finishes alluring siren song.